What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to TarverAcademy.com. And here's your geometry problem of the day. Do one of these a day. Keep the failures away because you won't fail any tests. You get it? It was kind of clever, but not at all. Okay, so I'm going to stop talking. Check me out on social media at Tyler Tarver. What? Okay, let's get started. Put the line that crosses through 310 and negative 5, negative 22 in slope intercept form. Okay, so if you could pause the video, work the problem, and then hit resume and we'll work it together. You ready? Your marks, I go. Okay, so you've worked the problem, you've got your answer. Let's see if we have the same answer. Okay, so we want to put these, we have a line that goes through these two coordinates in slope intercept form. The first thing you need to know is slope intercept form. Okay, slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. m is your slope, b is your y intercept, and x and y are coordinates that are on that line. Okay, that you can plug in and find one or the other. Okay, so. What we're going to do is, there are a few steps to finding this and putting it in this form. The first thing you need to find is your slope. So we're going to find the slope of these two points. To find the slope, you do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, it means we take our y's, subtract them, so it'll be negative 22 minus 10, which is negative 32. And then we take our x's. If you do this one first, you've got to do this one first. So negative 5 minus 3 is negative 8. Okay, can this be simplified? Yes. Two negatives cancel each other out. And then 32 divided by 8 is 4. Yeah, you thought that's going to be complicated because those are weird numbers that you don't usually deal with. But then it's simplified to 4, which is my slope. Okay, so y equals 4x plus b. Okay. We're going to find that second. All right. The way to find that is you want to take either of your coordinates, plug it in for x and y, and find what you don't know, which is our b. Okay. I'm going to get us some room on here. That's the noise that makes. I can't help it. Okay. Out of these two coordinates, which one would you prefer to use? I know I don't like negatives. I like to be a positive guy. Okay. So I've got y equals 4x plus b. I'm going to plug in my x and my y. My x is 3, so it'll be 4 times 3. And then my y is 10. And now I'm just solving for b. It just turned into like a little multi-step equation thing. So we got 10 equals 4 times 3 is 12. And then what do I do to get rid of that 12? I would subtract it. Negative 2 equals b. I've got my m, which I found here, and I've got my b. So now I know slope-intercept form, which is y equals, our m was 4, x plus b, which plus a minus just becomes a minus. And hopefully that's what you got as your answer. If not, you'll get it next time because we just worked that problem together. Thank you for joining me for the problem today. Subscribe so you can check out some more. And if your teacher doesn't know about this, tell them and they can do this at the first of class. And then you can watch the video while they're getting their stuff together and taking their absentees. And you get a little review of some geometry. TarverAcademy.com. Peace! Ow, did you hear my knees pop? Hey, Tyler here. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out tarveracademy.com.